Welcome to my channel. My name is Lana and in this video series I break down Amazon's The Rings of Power costumes and then redesign them to something that is, in my opinion, more fitting to the character and to Tolkien's lore, or at least a different interpretation of what could be done. In this video I'm tackling none other than the Lady of Lothorian herself and giving my suggestions for her alternative costume and character design. Galadriel was one of the greatest elves in Middle-earth, surpassing all others in beauty, knowledge and power. She was born in Valinor before the First Age. She was the only daughter and the youngest child of Finarfin, Prince of the Noldor. She had four older brothers, three of whom were killed during various battles in the First Age. She, along with many other elves, crossed the Helcaraxe in the north, an icy waste between the lands of Amman and Middle-earth. Galadriel is not known to have played any role in the major wars in the First Age. She stayed in Middle-earth, married Celeborn, and they had a daughter who was also Arwen's mother. Celeborn and Galadriel first ruled over a part of land under Gilgalad, the High King of the Noldor. Then they moved eastward and established the realm of Eregion, and later they became the Lord and Lady of Lothlorien. Now we finally come to the Second Age, where the Rings of Power are supposed to be taking place. Anatar, Lord of Gifts, guided Celebrimbor and other Noldor in the creation of the Rings of Power. Anatar was of course revealed to be Sauron, and when Eregion was attacked, not only was Galadriel's wisdom instrumental in hiding the rings, but she was also entrusted with one herself. Nenya, the Ring of Water. So basically, Galadriel, according to Tolkien, is very much the embodiment of power without the sword. Her weapons are magic, wisdom, intelligence, and beauty. She is never described as anything less than feminine. In Tolkien's universe, she is not a warrior. She is, however, said to have been prideful in her early years. Although, considering that she was born before the First Age, is she still in her early years in the Second Age where she is already thousands of years old? In any case, I agree with those who think that Amazon really missed the mark when they decided to make Galadriel into a warrior in the most literal sense. I think this depiction is the exact opposite of her core character traits. The point of her character is that she is a very strong warrior, but she doesn't fight with brute force. As far as her costumes in the Rings of Power that we've seen so far are concerned, I don't mind the look of the dagger, and the armor design is much better than that of the Numenorians, but I just don't see Tolkien's Galadriel in this style. I don't have anything to comment on these white chemises, and this is probably the same smock. There have been many videos made in regards to this image, so I won't add my rant to the mix, but you can probably guess how I feel about such a depiction. This white dress doesn't actually look that bad to me. I like the draping of the fabric and that it has a nice shimmer. The neckline embroidery is nice too. There seems to be a dagger behind her belt, which I don't know if I like, but perhaps if they were to incorporate the sheath seamlessly into the dress design somehow, I could give it a pass. Then there's this dress, which we can't see very well, but I'm not a fan of it. The fabric might be nice, but the way this dark tube top thing breaks the lines just doesn't work for me and doesn't make me think of elves at all. I was saving this outfit for last, and there are things that I like about it, but the one element that I don't is the crown. It's a little bit too Roman looking, too imposing, and too rigid for an elf. I do quite like the dress though. I don't mind that they opted for some color, even though Galadriel's signature color is white. Gold is fine, it matches her hair and the fabric and the design look good. Although the Rings of Power tends to overdo it with gold on everything, in my opinion. The dark green velvet is a nice match and regal looking, and I find the design of the sleeves very interesting too. And now here are some of my suggestions for Galadriel's costume. Since she is known as the Lady of Light and has a fondness for dressing in the purest white, I think it would be a clever idea to stick with this to a certain extent, but I do think a splash of color could be a good thing, perhaps to symbolize her youth. That's also the reason why I, personally, would stick with light colors instead of dark. For the dress style, I was thinking something along the lines of Belle Epoque or Late Edwardian, but even less shapely. I think dresses from those eras have a sufficient flowiness and grace to them, and they would give young Galadriel a more youthful look than a long-sleeved, all-white or silver, medieval-inspired gown made from heavier silks. I'm thinking light in color, rich in detail, with gold or silver accents and lightweight fabrics. Natural silhouette, not too rigid, with embroidery or accents that match the accessories, which I wouldn't go heavy on. 
Elven crown, yes, but I would prefer to incorporate jewelry into the dress itself. It could also symbolize pride in the sense that she's adorning herself more heavily in riches, but as she gets older and even wiser, she sticks to simplicity as depicted in The Lord of the Rings. There should be a bridge between the two on-screen depictions and a sense of consistency, despite thousands of years between the second and third age. Here is a sketch that I came up with for one of Galadriel's potential dresses. The fabric would be very light and light green, with silver threads sewn into it, which is hard to depict in a sketch, and with tiny diamonds in silver hanging from her belt, sleeves, and headpiece. Let me know in the comments what you think about Galadriel's depiction in The Rings of Power. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe for more similar content, sewing, and all sorts of artsy stuff. I'll see you soon. Bye!